So hello everybody and welcome back to another Power BI video. In this video I'm going to show you a trick on how you can do the stars rating in Power BI using the icon set that Power BI supplies. And also so you can do the half rating in case that you know you get like an average of 3.5, how you display that. No custom visuals, no unit chart things, just pure Power BI. Let's get started. Okay, so I am going to start a 25 days of Dice Fridays challenge, a second edition, new data set, new questions. And one of the things I'm going to ask you for those that participated in the challenge is to rate the DAX question to know how hard or how difficult or how easy it is. And it is going to be a star rating and I want to show you the ratings afterwards. So I needed to do this visualization before I could use Unichart, but Unichart do not, does not do these half stars. It doesn't work. You can use custom visuals, I prefer not to. So I'm going to show you how to do it using Power BI icons. That's the Excel way, actually. So let me show you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how the method that we need to create works and then everything will make sense and I'll show you how to show the stars. So this is the measure for the rating one for here, for this column one. And then I'll show you the other ones too. I'm going to paste it here so we can see it. So this is how the DAX looks. On line one, we have the current rating. So if this is the star for one, then it's one. If it's the star for two, it's two, and so on and so forth. The second variable is the average rating. So this is whatever rating you got, and then do the average of it. And then this is where the magic happens. The first line says if the current rating, so we are rating one, two, three, Five. It's one to five rating, right? So if current rating is less or equal to, let's say that we have an average rating of 3.5. Line four goes like this. Says if rating, current rating, which is one, is less or equal to 3.5, then do one. It says there. So this will be one. When it's two, it will be one. When it's three, it will be one for an average rating of 3.5. And when it's four, four is actually bigger. So this is going to go to line five. And line five, it says round out average rating. So if we round up to zero decimals, it's four. And if four equal four, you say here, if average rating rounded up is equal to rating, which is four, then mod, what it does is it gives us the decimal part. So it will do 0.5, right? And then here, this is also smaller, but if we round up 3.5, it's going to be 4. And 4 is not equal to 5. So then it's going to be whatever it says here that is 0. So that is the logic. It's so, so cool. So how do you get now the icons to appear? So this is what you do. You drop the measures for each column. This is actually the Excel way. The Excel users do it exactly the same way. You will see here what we were talking about. The one is one, two is one, three is one, four is half, and five is zero because it's an average rate, so 3.5. Then you go to the format pane and on cell elements here on icons, you turn it on for one. You need to do the same for each one. And what you need to do is as follows. So change here the style to the star rating. And then you can do here if this is equal to zero, then this has to be number empty star. If this is bigger than zero, number. Why is not number by default? So annoying one number and that's the half star that means if, it is, if there is a decimal and then this is again number no sorry this is one bigger or equal than one and then this is number and then you get the star and if you click ok it'll show you the star by the way you need to also remove the number so icon only and then you need to do that for all of the icons, and this is what you will get. So easy, so cool. I hope you enjoyed the video, and now you know how to do start ratings out of the box in Power BI, and make sure to check on Friday 
on the live stream that we will have about the 25 days of Tax Fridays, so you can participate when it starts next week. See you then.